let's get this to the shop. So I need to switch the guts from this case to another case I have. This is my good case. So we're gonna pull it apart, pull out the innards, and uh, yeah, let's get going. Snapper you need to remove. Makes splitting the cases a lot easier. Right here. Gonna get that snap ring. So, no one wants to see me open a box. Let's see if this one works any better. So the middle part of my video, my camera died. And so I'll show you what we did to switch from one output shaft to the other. On the 273F um, transfer case, there are two different uh, uh, input shafts, a bigger and a smaller. 
One's for the manual transmission, one's for the automatic transmission. Uh, so I needed the, trans the input shaft from my old case. And uh, so we'll show you what this old case looks like. And Wood chisel, always the right tool. Alright, so you uh, will pull all your bolts, split your case. Ford makes a tool that goes in between these two wings and it presses it apart. Uh, so this comes off here. And the, the output shaft for the front, for the rear, will, uh, it tries to stick, that bearing tries to stick on that shaft, so you have to get your hand in side of it and hold that back back while you're pulling this apart there you go that top case will pop off you're talking about right here yeah right here it tries to, that grabs on this bearing and it makes this missile line coming out of here so if you reach in and the first time i pulled this apart i had a pry bar that pried in there and it held that down. So as you can see this case, my chain is worn horribly. Holy cow, that's it, a ton of slop. On my new case, it only prob on my new one, it probably only moves three eighths of an inch on top and bottom. It's tight. This is loose enough that you can pull the chain without pulling the gears, which is not good. So, pull your, what you end up doing is pulling your chain off. Your shift linkage, when your shift linkage pulls in, pulls in to engage. So two wheel drive, it'll engage into four wheel drive, which will then lock this sprocket up, which will drive the chain to drive this sprocket, which is your output for your front. So to change the input shaft, you have to pull this off, pull the, shift linkage off be careful this does can fall out of the holder and there are these plastic retainers guides or then this shaft lifts out oh and then there's your low range with the planetary yep there you go kind of gotta just wiggle that till it gets out there's your uh yeah your low range which engages this is engages for your low range and then from here, I end up. This is the uh, ended up being the diesel. This is the diesel case, or the manual transmission case. Excuse me. So I ended up just pulling my case down this far, um, and then putting all of the guts from the other one into the other transfer case. So I just reused my case half, which had that the correct output shaft in it. Oh, gotcha. This is a six gear planetary. I think on my Borg Warner it's a four gear. Oh, okay. So, and some some of the uh, MP two thirty ones I think are three gear planetary. What's so six better? more is better. Oh, okay. So, which makes sense since this is out of a one ton. Yeah. That it would be. Yeah. Beefier. You can I think for like the MP two thirty ones and stuff you can buy a six gear planetary for it. So on reassembly, you're gonna want um, the spring wants to keep it in two wheel drive, which will have everything popped popped up. But you need to assemble it in four wheel drive. So when you put it together, and this is gonna go together way easier because my chain is all loose. But normally, what you have to do is you pick both of your your gears up, slide it to the inside pin. So rest that there. Okay. Uh, then hold it tight, and then sl I slid the front on, started the front, and then the back. Just work it on. But like I said, this is gonna this will go together way easier because my chain has a lot of slop. So yeah. So with a fresh chain, you pretty much got to have those perfect pretty even. You got to have it. Yeah, you be even and perfect, and uh, it helps if you have three hands. So then you got to keep this in the down, like all the way engaged down, 
So you can't uh, keep your hand on your chain to keep it down. Start working it around. Pull your hand out. Tappy tappy, tap it down in, run all your bolts in, and you've uh, changed the shaft on a uh, NP273F. Nice. Then we'll uh, reinstall it into the truck. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Two on drive now. Why is it grinding like that? Grinding? Spin it. Uh, because it's rubbing against the drive line. Oh, that's the front flange rubbing against the drive line. Yep. Okay, that's okay, that does that. That is what it sounds like. When you're filling up a transfer case, it's best practice to dump at least a quart on yourself. Really helps the uh, transfer case. Yeah, and helps you slide out from under the truck. Got four-wheel drive again. It's a win. Yeah, yeah. The uh, original shop quote on this was uh, originally it was to rebuild the transfer case it was $1,200, and then I picked up a transfer case and I asked the shop to swap the transfer case and change the input shafts, and they said for that they'd do it for like $350, $400. Um, 
I replaced the seals on the transfer case, bought a new gasket, uh, and my new fluid, and I'm into it. And I bought the transfer case on Craigslist for 60 bucks. So I'm into it for about $80 and uh, did it myself. Sweet. Right on. Well, just in time for winter. Yep. All, All right. right. Wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. See you next time.